Hey everyone, in this amazing tutorial, I will show you how you can create this really beautiful industrial design detail with this crown button kind of, right? So this is our result here. You will learn it step by step. And if you want to try to follow along and you don't have plasticity, just go to plasticity.xyz and you can try it for 30 days. So yeah, just try it out. It's so amazing to use this program. And right now our spring end sale is ongoing. So if you really want to master plasticity in depth and learn how to model complex models like a car, professional product design, like a helmet, motorcycles, action cam, power tools. I have so many amazing courses. They are fully narrated. They are super easy to follow. Everything is step by step. So if you want to grab an amazing spring sale deal, then check out first link in the description box. And now let's dive into our tutorial. So let's start with a new file. And by the way, I have this little, yeah, maybe improvement. So you see my mouse, this green circle around. And if I press right click, it's getting blue. Uh, just let me know in the comments if you find that confusing or if that's helpful, because yeah, maybe it's a little bit easier to, to see where my cursor is. All right, so in object mode, let's select our cube and just delete it. Yes, we can also use it, but uh, yeah, I like uh, to work manually. So let's here go to a center rectangle. And again, just I will show you here quickly. So we will first create a rectangle. So the main shape, then we will add here this nice rounding. Then we will cut out here those little um, yeah, smooth cuts out. And then we will create this uh, crown, right? So let's go here to the center rectangle and just snap to the middle and drag that out. So right now I don't care so much about the shape. So play a little bit around, but I will just do something like that. And this looks fine. And now I just select here this blue face. And when it's now selected, I have this gizmo. So I can just very simply extrude that. And again, right now I'm just eyeballing. Um, yeah, so a thickness, something like that. And now you can press right click to confirm it. And now we have this blue curve here and we don't want it anymore. So just select it or press two. So you're on curve mode, so you can select the curve. And when it's yellow, just press X. Perfect. So now super simple. Let's create this rounding. And for that, make sure you select two. So you can select edges and select this edge, shift click this edge. And now just drag in. So in one direction, it's a chamfer. The other direction, it's a uh, yeah, fillet. But now we want the perfect rounding. And for that, just click here on full. And you see now we have a perfect uh, rounding. So right click to confirm. And now let's place our crown. So for that, I go here to the right view. So just click on the side from the cube. And we just create here a center circle. So click on the center circle, just snap to the middle and drag it down. So now make sure that you snap either to the X axis or to the Y axis. And and now we can decide a uh, size. So I will yeah, do something like that. I think should be fine. Perfect. And now first we have to create this hole, right? Where the button will be inside. So for that, I just press three or here face mode because I can again select this blue face. And now again, I can just extrude this inwards, but we want to Boolean that out, right? So we want to subtract our cylinder from our main form. So very simple while you are yeah, extruding that you can just press Q because then you are in the Boolean mode. So you don't see anything right now. But if you click now on your main object, now you see it's getting blue. But if it's blue, then it will kind of fuse it together. It will union. But here at the bottom right, you have a few extra commands. So if you search for difference and you see it's W, so if you press W, then you see it's red and red, it will be subtracted. So then you have the hole. So press right click and perfect. You see, you have, uh, we have exactly what we need. Again, press two for edge mode, select the curve and press X to delete it. Perfect. So before I continue with the crown, I just want to add yeah, this really beautiful cutouts here. So for that, I just go to the top view. So I just click here on the top 
zoom out a little bit and now I have to create a line and I will just snap this line somewhere here and just drag that down to uh, yeah, somewhere here and now go with an angle and do something like that, right? So again, it's just eyeballing. And now we also want a very smooth transition. So while this curve is selected, press B and just give it a very nice fillet here. Right click. So you have this nice uh, well, fillet here. And now we also want it on the other side with the same distance um, where our hole is. So for that, we have to mirror that over. And for that, the command is Alt X. And then you have this gizmo here. And if you created this curve exactly, um, this hole exactly in the middle, you can just mirror that over. But let me just show it to you something. So if you press Escape, um, so for example, you want this hole. So you can also press a three face mode. You can select this interface. And with G move command, you can just bring the hole to a different position. So for example, you want it a little bit higher, then we can do something if we press two again, uh, we select our curve, we go to the top view and also with G again, we just bring it now here to the top. Okay, so we just adjust it because now if you again press Alt X, but if you now just mirror that over, then it's way too far away, right? So we want to mirror it here. How to do that? Again, select the curve, Alt X, mirror command. And now here, bottom right, you see F freestyle. So if you press F, now you can select the point where you want to mirror it over. And we just want the center or here, the center of uh, the circle here, this, this, this hole, right? So press center and just drag it left. So on the X axis, right click, because now you see they are exactly same position. And now before we cut, we just have to make sure that the line goes over your whole body. So press one, you're in point mode and just select here this point. And again, G with move, just bring it down a little bit. Perfect, because now if you press two again, you can select the curves and now C for cut, you can just cut into your main body, right click and now just make sure that your curves and those new bodies are selected and press X. And now you have something like that and this looks beautiful. So now let's create quickly our crown. Very simple. We just use the straight surface that we have already. So press three and face mode, select this face and now press O for offset. And by the way, if you want like, like a PDF with all of the shortcuts, of plasticity also in the description uh, just check out shortcuts pdf you can also download that so you also have that uh, handy so face is selected press o uh, to offset this a little bit and let's just offset it just a little bit of a distance right click to confirm and select this face again and now we don't want to extrude this because then it's still one body <clears throat> but what we do we want is we want one separate body for the button, right? So while this face is selected, we don't use this gizmo, but we press E for extrude because now we are in a new command because now if you drag that out, it's kind of blue. So it will again just add to your main body, but we want again a new body. So bottom right here, new body. If you press B, then you have a new body, right click. And now you see here in the outliner on the left, you have two bodies. Perfect. So this looks fine. Maybe I select this face and just bring this a little bit inwards. And now let's just have a look how it looks. So we have those, yeah, ribs kind of inside. So let's create them. And for that, I just want to focus now on my button here. So I press four for object mode and I just select this whole body. And now if you press point, then you can isolate that. Okay. So now let's go to the right view. And now again, let's create a center circle and just snap here at the top. And let's create here a nice little circle. So something like that should be fine. Right click. And now I just want to extrude this a little bit, uh, a little bit. 
So press 3, select this face and extrude this. So something like that. And now also, because if you see here, we have a perfect rounding, right? So we just want, um, so we will use this object again to Boolean that out, right? So we press 2 and we just select this face and again, we just give it a nice round fillet. Doesn't have to be perfect will be uh, working anyways. So something like that. And now object mode, select this object, press G for move command and just bring it <coughs> somewhere here. That should be okay. Uh, select okay or right click, press two edge mode, select the curve X to delete it. And now again, um, first of all, we want to array that um, all over the, the, the uh, cylinder. So go to the right click, select this in uh, object mode. So press four. So select this whole object here. And now here at the bottom, you see radial array. So select radial array and just snap around the middle. And I don't know here you can um, select how many you want. So right now I just take uh, 14. So press OK. And now just in object mode, first select your big cylinder. And now with shift click, select from right to left all of those other objects. And now again, just press Q for the Boolean command. And now already you see it's red. So it's exactly what we want. Press OK. And this looks fine. And now we want to give everywhere fillets. So very simple is if you just press 2. And so we don't have to select all of the edges one by one. Make sure that you are in X-ray mode so you can see through. So here at the bottom right, you have here the X-ray mode. And now just position your camera like that. And now from right to left, drag and select all of those edges and go to your little gizmo here and give it a nice little fillet. And you see this looks perfect. Right click. And let's in edge mode, press to select this edge here and give it also a nice little fillet. Perfect. Right click to confirm and press point again. So you uh, just go out of the uh, yeah, isolation mode. And now again, just press two, select this edge and this, this edge with X and give it again a nice fillet. <clears throat> but you see the fillet is not the same distance. So for that, you just have to press caudal. And then all of the fillet will be the same distance. And let's give it a nice sharp fillet. Right click. And now if we check that out, looks absolutely beautiful. And again, just a very quick reminder, if you want to learn more and really want to learn how to master plasticity in much more depth and learn how to model really complex objects, but very beginner friendly, step by step and really frustrationless modeling techniques, then check out uh, first link in the here my course page. I have also bundles and yeah, it's really, really fun. You will learn all of the key techniques that you need to model yeah, anything that you want on your own. So check that out. And otherwise, leave me a like and subscribe so you don't miss my next tutorials. Have a nice day. Bye.